I made a very good friends over here, very good friends. What's next for you, Aurelio? So I, I would take us some time off now, yeah. Sorry, guys. Aurelio, so this is it? Yeah, unfortunately, it's not another prank. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, this is the end. This is the end. Why now? Uh, because, uh, to be honest, I wanted to stay longer, uh, different than uh, was last season, you know, uh, before I make the decision. When I made it, I embraced it. But I was more prepared to, to finish last season than, than uh, I was now. Uh, because the way the things uh, went, went through, you know, I, I wanted to, to help uh, the team a little bit more. Uh, especially in this whole situation that uh, the club uh, at the moment, you know, it's not nice. Uh, the way we we ended, but uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to be uh, part of the team that we we bounce back from from what's happened last season. Can already sit in your eyes, emotional. Yeah, always, always. 2014, you've been here. Mm -hmm. Did you think you'd be here six years later? <laughs> never. I never thought about it. Uh, when I signed for the club, my my aim was together with the club was to get promoted. But uh, it was more than I dream. You know, it was six great years apart from from the last one because uh, what's happened. But uh, I don't think uh, people will forget the good times. You know that. Uh, oh, we gone together. How much does this place mean to you? Can, can you describe it? Yeah, it means a lot because uh, uh, the people here and the club, uh, uh, they made me a dream again, you know. I was, uh, my contract was uh, ended at, uh, at his purse and I was on my way back to Brazil a day before my flight to Brazil. In 2014, with all my luggage and everything, furniture and everything, uh, a director of uh, Watford called me, and with this opportunity, you know, of course it was a quick decision, but the right one that I made helped me uh, to believe that I could keep pushing, you know, at uh, my level, uh, and uh, to be honest. Uh, to finish in high, you know, in a high, uh, uh, not in the way that the club finished uh, myself. I'm speaking about myself. I believe that I finished in a high, you know, even even with uh, what's happened. 159 appearances, mm -hmm. 37 clean sheets. But I think your influence here goes way beyond that. So I just want to touch on a couple of areas. Your community work, first and foremost. How much mm -hmm. has that meant to you? Yeah, it means a lot because I believe the club is, is more than a football club. Uh, the people and the way football change people's life is incredible. And the way, the way this football club does, does the things outside the pitch is amazing. That's why I really appreciate uh, to do things for the club uh, with the community, uh, community as well because is that is the way to do football. At the Cedars Centre, you were with Rita Taylor. Yeah. At Meriden, you were with the late, great mm -hmm. Graham Taylor. Yeah. Special bond you had with that family. Mm, oh, of course. A special occasion, occasion, special people. You know, I had the opportunity to, uh, to meet them uh, doing things like this, you know, uh, outside from uh, Vic Rice Road. So. Uh, was amazing. So uh, the big man uh, was there. I had the opportunity to meet him personally for the first time, uh, 
and uh, uh, involved in uh, things like this is uh, really, really speci special. How would you describe your relationship with the fans? <laughs> I believe we share, uh, we used to share love between ourselves and respect. That's, uh, that's uh, money doesn't buy a relationship like this and uh, also uh, uh, the things that uh, uh, I appreciate is give my time to them and I, I try to give my best, you know, no, uh, no, not only on the pitch but outside of the pitch as well, uh, where, we, where they are important to, you know, uh, the fans is, has been amazing with me and so I'm grateful to them. That song will live with you for a long time, Aurelio oh, Gomez, yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah, my sons, uh, they used to sing it and and uh, probably they will, they're still doing it. So, yeah, it's uh, special. A high point of the relationship with the fans must surely be that reception you got against Crystal Palace, quarter-final. Yeah, that was a possibility for retirement, so I didn't know what's going to happen. And uh, I didn't expect uh, any any situation after that season. But uh, uh, at the end, uh, uh, we agreed a new deal, so uh, I had more opportunities to stay uh, longer with uh, with the club and with the fans, of course. But uh, uh, that was uh, emotional man as well. I I'm I'm emotional man, but. Uh, uh, this makes me feel loved, you know, and that's uh, what the life is about. Is when people love each other, the things around get easier. During six incredible years here on your journey, your two sons, Flavio and, and Luis, have turned into teenagers. <laughs> How much of the journey big have they boys. been part of it? Because they're almost as big as you now. Yeah, big boys, big boys. They they were important as well in uh, in the way you know always support me, my family uh, was important as well in this, in this, in this time, my wife and uh, oh, they are growing now and, and by the time uh, I was here, so that's, uh, uh, I can add this as part of my, my life. Two players you've looked after, like your own sons, have been Rich Richarlison and João Pedro. How uh, proud are you of your role in their development? You know what, uh, it cre it's credit to them as well. Uh, but uh, I always like it to do things like this, you know, uh, because I know how hard it was for me to, to come to England. Even I was used to play in Europe uh, with PSV, but uh, it was hard, it's different. Uh, the football is different, the lifestyle is different. And uh, especially for players like them, when they come from Brazil, uh, different things, different culture, and and uh, so difficult to adapt. Uh, what I see in those cases is that uh, uh, what for needed them soon as they are they were prepared. Uh, and the only way that uh, they were getting better uh, early and sooner is uh, uh, having someone that knows the league, uh, knows the club, uh, knows the, the country. So, and that's why uh, I embrace them as, as my sons. Uh, John Pedro, uh, I, I believe that he didn't have the opportunity yet to play, but he's, he, become, he will become a great player uh, for the club. And I believe uh, he's a Premier League player. That's why he will bring Watford from the Championship to the Premier League again. We probably haven't got time to go through all your saves because you're going to miss your return flight home if we do. <laughs> They'll be at the end of this video and yeah, you can find them on, <laughs> on, on YouTube. Instead, I just want to talk you through a, a couple of wider moments. Um, firstly, the way you celebrated with the fans in the town after you beat Brighton, special memory? It's something that, uh, man, it's something that we, uh, goalkeepers is special, special position. We are alone and the only, the only ones that we really can celebrate and share our emotions is the fans. And there is no better people to share with 
you know, because uh, in that game was so special for us. So it was a game that uh, bring us to where we wanted to to be, you know. The FA Cup semi-final against Wolves, mm. I watched it again the other day and it sent shivers down my spine still. Yeah. Great day. Great day, great day because uh, uh, I was uh, I had the opportunity to play that game and and the way we bounced back as well. Uh, two nil down and people was just uh, Wolves was celebrating uh, their victory. Uh, but uh, until the end, I was telling the boys just keep keep believing, keep pushing. And they did a great they, great job at the end. Uh, it was a great turnaround and and uh, uh, a game to uh, to be in our mind forever, I believe. Finally, the, the Player of Season award you won in 2015-16, mm. first season back in the Premier League, yeah. to be the, named the best player that season. Proud moment. Yeah. Great moment, especially for me. Like I said before, uh, I was leaving. Uh, I was on my way back to Brazil. Nobody was believing me anymore. So, uh, what for did and uh, the only, the only thing that uh, I used, uh, I could do, to pay it back is to performance, and uh, that was great season. Not only for the club, but uh, myself as well. Given the high points we've just discussed. How sad was it? It ended the way it did at Arsenal with relegation uh, and you in tears. Man, I, I feel it. I always, when I used to discuss my, my contract with the club, I used to tell Gino that I'm not here for the money. I, I'm here to, to work before the money. I will put the club before the money. You know, so. Uh, Sometimes uh, uh, things go in your way, uh, on your, uh, on your way that uh, hurts, and that's a type of thing that uh, hurt me a lot because is a, that wasn't the way that I wanted to, to finish. So, but uh, yeah, but as now now it's time for for the club to ba bounce back straight away because uh, we still can do it. What's next for you, Aurelio? So I, I would take us some time off now, yeah. Sorry, guys. It's not because I'm finishing, you know, I, I, was, prepared, I was preparing for this a long time ago, to be honest. And, uh, but it's because I'm, I'm leaving a place that, uh, I like a lot, and also the people, the way that uh, they used to treat me, incredible. They treat me like a part of the family as well, and I feel part of, uh, of the family, of this football club. I will take some time off with my family, so but I will be around. <laughs> I'm gonna be around, so uh, I have decided in the last uh, few weeks that uh, I will be involved in football. Not, of course, uh, not inside, not outside in the in the office, but uh, uh, bring some talents to to Europe. I got this religion stuff as well that I want to be involved in and uh, to try to help people uh, outside of the things that I know how to do it, which is football. Can you make us one promise? Yeah, tell me. Can you come back and see us at some point? Yeah, 100%. 100%, just let me know. I will be because uh, I want to have a chance to say goodbye. You know, uh, uh, like I said, uh, whatever the club needs from me, I will be available for the club. Well, I think I'll speak on behalf of the fans all the staff here, both in the club and the trust. Thank you for everything you've done for this place um, and you'll be sorely missed. Thank you. I will miss you as well, for sure, 100%. Thank you, guys. Love you. Stop. Don't go anywhere. Click here for more videos.